What is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Star Wars Darth Vader figure. So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today I'm bringing you a review of the new Mafex Darth Vader figure which is actually pretty cool. I think they did step up their game a little bit from their uh, previous figures that they've released. But anyway, let's start the review off first with the packaging for Lord Vader. So everybody's favorite Sith Lord comes in the basic Mafex packaging. You get a big window in the front, shows the figure and the accessories. You get a picture of the figure right there. It says Darth Vader action figure Mafex number six, Medicom toy. The bottom of it is the barcode and blah, 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 stuff that nobody cares about. The top of it has a picture of a Stormtrooper helmet, says Disney and Star Wars. And then the side of it, you get that same uh, Stormtrooper helmet, says the same thing, Mafex. And then you get a picture of Vader right there as well. And then the other side of it says the same thing. And then you get a cool picture of Darth Vader also. And then the back of the packaging shows a bunch of different poses you can get the figure into along with his accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and take a closer look at Darth Vader. And what kind of a pose is that? It looks like Darth Vader's about to disco or something. What the hell, Mafex? Alright, so let's take a closer detailed look at Darth Vader here. And I think Mafex actually did a very good job on this piece. This helmet is removable. You do peg it into the top of his head. There is a peg on the inside right there. But uh, it looks pretty cool, kind of basic, nothing special. I really like the head sculpt though. They did a very good job with it. You get a uh, glossy black for the eyes right there. You get all types of like computer chips uh, all around the head of the figure. You get some nice sculpted detail on the top of the head right there. And then even on the back of the head, you see Vader's actual head right there. It's all scarred up and everything. He did some nice sculpt work and paint work right there, so that's pretty cool looking. Do get a little bit of the dark gray bleeding onto the skin tone color. But I like how they put, uh, like, chips all throughout uh, the head right there. Very cool looking. And then, if you notice, the top is like a dark gray color. Then when it gets right here, it's, m it's more of a black color. But on this side right here, it's black, and this piece is that dark gray, so that's kind of weird. I don't know if it's like that in the movie or not. And then you get some silver on this, these uh, end pieces right here that form a triangle. Some nice sculpt work on the inside right there. But a uh, very good job on the head sculpt. Uh, this chest piece is a softer, rubbery type material. Same with the shoulder pads. I wish the shoulder pads were on hinges. I don't care if it's rubbery, just I'd rather it be on hinges. I don't care if it's hard plastic or a rubbery type material. Uh, the paint's nice and clean on there. Uh, this piece right here in the midsection is sculpted very well and painted very good also. You get some nice uh, sculpted wrinkles all throughout the figure, all the way to the back right there. Then there's the chest piece right there. So I did a good job with that. I do like the cape. The cape is very nice. It, I like the way it like bunges up here on the back. And you do get some uh, bendy wire in the edges of the cape. So that's cool that they added that in. Uh, the belt right here, you get the you get silver for the center piece and some sculpted detail in there. You get this piece right here and then this piece, which are identical. Uh, you do also get this little uh, clip right here that's on his belt, and you can clip in his lightsaber, so that's cool that they put that in. And then you get the, the softer rubbery material right here. Uh, it's slit in two pieces, so it doesn't hinder leg articulation, but I guess it's pretty cool. I think I would have rather have it been like a uh, cloth, like the cape. Um, the legs, really nothing special. You get some nice sculpted lines right there. The boots look pretty cool. You get some sculpt, sculpted detail in the back, like it's buckles, but they're all black. I like the way the uh, feet look, though. They look pretty cool. Some nice wrinkles right there. And then same with the arms. You get that sculpt, the sculpted lines and then sculpted wrinkles all throughout it as well. So I think Mafex actually did a very good job with this Darth Vader figure, and I think they are trying to step up their game. So, so far, I'm digging what they did with uh, Lord Vader. But anyway, let's continue on.
So now for the accessories, you do get a Mafex stand, so that's cool that that is included with the figure. And then you do get Darth Vader's lightsaber, which is a nice red translucent plastic. So they did a good job on that. It looks a little warped, though, as you can see right there. And then there is a peg on the end of it, but it is notched a certain way to fit into the hilt. So you get the hilt right here, and then that right there is the peg hole to peg onto his waist. I'll show you that real quick. So you see the peg right there, and then you can peg it in like so, and it fits in there pretty nice. Whoops. Didn't really get it. There we go. So it fits in there pretty cool, so very nice. But they did a good job with the hilt. It is sculpted pretty well and painted very nice. And then the lightsaber goes in like this. And then there you go. But it does kind of look like it's on an angle a bit. Yeah, there we go. That doesn't look that good. Maybe some hot water could fix that. But the lightsaber and the, uh, the hilt and the lightsaber blade does look pretty cool. And then he also comes with 10 interchangeable hands. You get a pair of open resting hands right here. And they are sculpted very well. And it's just a black plastic. So pretty cool. You get a pair of those. And then you do get a pair of fists. Sculpted well. Get some sculpted lines on them too, so that's cool. You also get a pair of gripping hands, which is for him to hold the lightsaber. And it it isn't molded together, the thumb and the fingers, so you can open them if you want. And then you also get a pair, kind of like gripping hands or pointing hands. And they are sculpted pretty well, so pretty cool you get those. You can hold a lightsaber with them too. And then you also do get a pair of uh, force push hands. Another pair of open hands. These are pretty badass though, because it's like he's using the force. And then you also get his cut off uh, hand, which is his right hand, of course. And I really like all the uh, the nice sculpt work and paint work inside of it, so they did a pretty good job with that. And all you do is just peg off his right hand right here. Come on, you bastard. There you go, you just peg that off like so, and then peg in the chopped off hand. And it pegs in pretty easily. And then there you go, Vader with no right hand. <laughs> and then you do get an interchangeable head, which is when uh, Luke took his helmet and mask off. And it is sculpted and painted pretty damn good. So they did a pretty good job with it. Get his ears right there that are sculpted pretty good, and then you get his scars all up over here, which looks pretty awesome actually. I think SH Figure Arts did a better job with theirs, the one that comes with the uh, Luke Skywalker figure. So they did a good job with that, and the way you interchange his head, I take the helmet off first. Well, you don't take that off, whoops. You just unpeg this part, this stays on the figure actually. So you just leave that on, and then you peg that in right there. So that actually looks pretty cool. So there is Vader without his helmet and mask on. I mean, Mafex is doing a good job so far with this uh, Darth Vader figure. But anyway, let's keep moving on. For the height of Darth Vader, my ruler doesn't exactly start at the zero, so he stands a little bit under six inches and three quarters of an inch tall. And then here he is compared to... The SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker figure and the SH Figure Arts Darth Maul figure. I think that's great scale right there. And then here he is compared to the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtrooper figure and the DC Collectibles Icons Batman figure. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Android 16 figure and the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Goku figure. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the review. For the articulation, like I said, he does have bendy wire in the cape, so you can do a little bit of articulation with the cape, which is cool. His helmet does swivel, which it shouldn't, that's kind of annoying, but the head does swivel, and it only goes up and down a little bit, and then you do get some pretty good pivot out of it. You do get a point at the point of articulation at the chest and then at the uh, waist right there. The chest can swivel, goes back and forth, and then it does pivot slightly. The waist does swivel goes back and forth a little bit and then it does pivot so you get some okay articulation there for the arms you get that nice armpit joint that moves around 
it's a really great motion right there. The arm goes up a lot more than 90 degrees, so that's good. It goes up and down. You do get to bicep swivel. You get double jointed elbows that bend in pretty much all the way, so that's cool. You get a uh, hinge, uh, ball hinge on the wrist. It does swivel and hinges back and forth. And then for the legs here, you can shift them down a little bit, but I think when you do it, as you see the legs, when you shift one down, like that leg went up when I shifted this down. So when I shift this leg down, that leg goes up. So you can shift them down a little bit, but then the legs will be uneven. Uh, he does kick forward a little less than 90 degrees, goes to the back a little bit, and it goes out to the side less than 90 degrees. You do get swivel up there as well. You have double jointed knees that bend back pretty decent amount. And then for the ankles, they do swivel, they go up and down, and then you do get some nice pivot there, and then you also get some toe articulation. So, pretty good uh, movement with this Darth Vader figure, and like I said, Mafex has stepped up their game. None of the joints are falling apart or anything when I articulate it, so that is a big plus for me, and I hope Mafex keeps heading in the right direc direction, because they are a very good figure company. But... Overall, I actually do recommend the Mafex Darth Vader figure for any Star Wars fan, or especially if you're a Darth Vader fan, you will not be disappointed. I think Mafex did a great job with this piece, and they are actually stepping up their game, because previous figures that they've released in the past, very disappointed with them. You had joints popping off all the time, falling apart, figures breaking so easily or uh, even quality control issues with the paint and stuff. But this Vader figure, they did a good job with it. I don't see any problems on it besides the annoying helmet uh, moving when you try to articulate the head. But other than that, there's really no other major type of issues, so I do recommend it. You get some pretty dope accessories included with Vader. Interchangeable hands, the interchangeable head, the cutoff hand and uh, the lightsaber and the hilt. I just don't like that the lightsaber is warped a little bit, but you get some pretty awesome stuff with the figure. They did a really good job with the articulation on this piece. The only issue I have is the torso is pretty limited. You don't get much movement there, but other than that, they did a great job with the rest of the figure. And the detail is really cool on this Darth Vader. The only thing I don't like is that they didn't put a real chain holding his cape together. So I didn't like that, and I don't like the shoulder pads. I wish they were on hinges and they were hard plastic instead of a rubbery type material. But everything else is an A+. I really dig the cape and the way it's bunched up in the back, and my favorite part is definitely the mask. Great job by Mafex. And if you would like to get the Mafex Darth Vader for your collection, he runs between 40 through 50 bucks, depending on where you buy him. I paid about 43 bucks, and that's including shipping from HobbyLinkJapan.com, so you can check there, or maybe eBay or Amazon. You can also see if my buddy from AgelessGeeks.com has it in stock. So if you guys want to get yours, head over to any of those websites today. But anyway, that is my review of the Mafex Star Wars Darth Vader figure. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share and favorite the video too. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then I guess you're not a Star Wars or a Darth Vader fan. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Later. Six Medicom toy, the bottom of it, <laughs> and DC collectibles.
Damn it. Figure and the Damn series it. First Order Stormtrooper here. The Black Series First Order Storm Pooper. Oh, this is my favorite Darth figure. Darth figure. Damn it. And you can check Hobby Link. Hobby. Uh, blah, blah. I did get mine from. I forgot.